Look at that, guys. <clears throat> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm. This absolutely glorious day on this dying, fucked planet. That would be a Thursday afternoon, July 25th, 2024. And I have a full house here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. All three of the tiny houses are rented tonight. So I'd better uh, get on with this rant before they start showing up. But anyway, I don't know if you listen to my uh, video a couple of days ago titled the single greatest comment I have ever read in 15 years dwelling in the doomosphere by this fellow from Australia named Ray Stevens I uh, came out of nowhere if you have not heard that video I highly advise you to go make your acquaintance with Ray Stevens, the enigmatic Ray Stevens, uh, who has a YouTube channel, not surprisingly, looks a little bit like uh, Andy the Gardener's channel, and he has some cute cat videos over there, but anyway, uh, got a lot of nice comments uh, about that, and then I had the very nauseating experience of hearing from this, uh, I, I don't know, this, this vacuous, this uh, petulant, this insolent, and it, just this bloviating windbag. Never heard of this fucker. Uh, coming in here, uh, polluting the comments page. Uh, this fucker calls himself Wet Seal. Wet Seal TV. And uh, guys, you know, I've, I've got to say, uh, Wet Seal has almost met Ray Stevens from the other side as the most vacuous, petulant, uh, insolent, bloviating comment I have received ever since I finally kicked this fucking troll Sat12 uh, off my channel. Uh, I'm not at all sure this is not Sat12 coming in uh, with this comment to see if he can outdo uh, Ray Stevens, you know, on the other side of the coin. Uh, and I'm still not entirely sure that this isn't my good buddy Realize, Realize, Real Lies yanking my chain just to <laughs> see if he can get a reaction out of me. Uh, don't think it is uh, Realize, Realize, Realize. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I'm just going to start reading this comment till I can't take it anymore. And so before I kick this irritating, bloviating windbag, you know, it, it's, this, it's, it's, it's this kind of person, it, you know, my vision of hell, I think I remember a, a, uh, a, Twilight Zone episode. I think it was Twilight Zone where this guy got sent to hell and what hell was was being stuck for eternity with this bloviating windbag and, and, and I could not imagine a worse descent into the ninth ring of hell than to be stuck with this clueless fucking moron. But Wet Seal, since this is your 15 seconds of fame on uh, Collapse Chronicles, what do you have to say about the single greatest comment I have ever read in 15 years dwelling in the Doomosphere? Take it away, Wet Seal. 
of of what use is such a comment that we should hate ourselves for being the most intelligent animal on the planet? You say we are not, that the most intelligent animal would not be destroying their own planet? But in that, you would be wrong. A chimpanzee or dolphin does not have the intellectual ability to build houses or design bombs. Enough with the sentiment. Reality had no qualms about numerous extinctions in the past, or domestic well-fed cats going outside and killing rodents or birds, tossing them around for entertainment, not even eating them. Reality had no qualms about unfolding an evolutionary pro process in which one day some animal, probably an ape, would become gradually smarter over thousands of years. Reality had no qualms about leaving natural oil deposits that would eventually be found by this smarter animal and used for fuel. You give humans too much credit for decision making. The conditions were set up by reality to inevitably happen like giving a baby a hand grenade. Reality entails evolution of species. Sooner or later, one becomes smart enough to not become victimized by lions or bears, and they start carrying spears, wearing animal skins to bear the cold, chop down trees and make shelters, burning them to cook food, and this leading to skyscrapers and gas stoves. To say humans were a mistake of nature is a sentimental idea. Reality itself is savage and a SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! Jesus fucking Christ! I, I made it about a, a that, that was about one third uh, 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 of this bloviating, clueless fucking moron trying to tell me, uh, coming on here, this pompous fucking ass just spitting this shit out of his asshole, uh, talking about a uh, fucking reality uh, to me. Uh, you know, just shut the fuck up. Uh, so this was, uh, and, and, and he goes on and on, uh, going from uh, fucking reality to morality. Uh, that fucking morality is a human construct. Uh, no shit, Sherlock, talking about how fucking volcanoes and asteroids or whatever the fuck. Uh, he's going on and 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 on about. So uh, this was my short version to this bloviating fucking asshole uh, before I kick his fucking ass off of this channel and spare myself. So this is my response uh, to Wet Seal. Yawn. The only reality I care about is the fucking reality that if humans had never evolved on this planet, this planet would not be in the shape it is in. No single species in the history of the planet has ever wreaked such havoc. And don't feed me this aerobic bacteria horse shit that you tiresome human-centric morons like to preach. Volcanoes and asteroids and the sun burning out are part of the reality outside of morality, but that in no way gives the single most evil, immoral species to ever walk the earth a free pass to keep up their game which is why I wish every one of us humans would go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. 
And then of course, uh, the wet seal comes on with his usual uh, no shit Sherlock response that uh, I'm a fucking hypocrite, you know, because I use fossil fuels and I know I'm destroying the planet and I go right on about destroying the planet when I know goddamn well uh, what the fuck I'm doing. No shit Sherlock. Uh, wet seal must have been uh, to college to understand uh, that uh, I am immoral. I guess I'm immoral for cooking this factory farmed. This is, I'm cooking one of my fellow factory farmed earthlings uh, and on my fossil fuel powered barbecue grill. Getting ready to get out there and eat my fellow earthlings. Oh, God, reality. You know, uh, Derek Jensen, uh, if, if you have never read the, uh, the book Endgame uh, by Derek Jensen, uh, you need to uh, correct that shortcoming in your life. Endgame is, you, you know, is right up there with Overshoot and explaining, uh, you know, why we're so fucked uh, because of humans. And I think it's at the very beginning of Endgame where Derek Jensen, uh, what does he call these? The 20, he lists 20, I forgot what he calls them, but, but, but anyway... But, but, but he's addressing uh, bloviating assholes like Wet Seal, uh, you, you know, talking this fucking boring ass shit, these fucking windbags uh, going on and on and on, trying to prove how fucking uh, intellectually superior they are by pointing out this no shit Sherlock shit uh, that, that any fucking second grader uh, has figured out. Uh, and, and, and he, you know, what, what Derek says, and I am way oversimplifying, I have not read uh, end game and it good lord uh over 10 years so i i am way way oversimplifying uh and misquoting uh, i'm not i'm not putting quote marks but he basically touches on uh th th this kind of horse shit uh that that doomers need to hear uh, 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 about all of these fucking realities and, and, and talking about how the fucking sun's gonna burn out or some fucking, you know, all of this shit, uh, which has nothing to do with anything uh, about the state of this fucking planet here on July 25th, 2024. It doesn't have a fucking thing to do with it. Not a fucking thing. Uh, the, 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 these fucking windbags, uh, bloviating assholes thinking they're some fucking, uh, uh, g g you know, Greek philosopher, uh, talking this shit out their ass, uh, when, when it's goddamn humans, you, you, you know, as Derek says a little more politely, you know, all of this fucking bullshit uh, about philosophy and, and morality and, and, and all of this crap. Uh, and, and I would throw religion in there. I would throw spirituality in there. Sure as shit would throw fucking politics in there. All of these fucking discussions that we're having on this planet, uh, talking about all of this distraction crap, it doesn't mean a fucking thing on a dead planet. As the t-shirt says, no music on a dead planet. No morality on a dead planet. No reality on a dead planet. What humans are doing to this fucking planet is, is the only thing we need to be talking about. As uh, Michael Rupert uh, was pointing out, 
uh, about three months before he blew his fucking head off because he got sick and tired uh, 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 of these clueless fucking moron bloviating assholes like wet seal uh, t talking all of this fucking bullshit, uh, you, you know, that maybe has its time and place in, in, in a fucking asshole convention where you can sit there and, 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 and talk to your fucking blue in the face, to any clueless fucking moron who, who wants to hear the fucking bullshit coming out of your mouth uh, about what what is or what is not fucking reality. Reality is we're fucked. We're fucked. And it doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with a fucking volcano or a fucking asteroid or, or, or the fact that dolphins haven't figured out how to fucking make nuclear bombs. Nothing to do with it. Humans have figured out how to make nuclear bombs. Okay? That's the only fucking reality we need to talk about out here. It's fucking humans. Anyway, so that is my response to Wet Seal. And, and, uh, and he can take his version of his fucking reality, cram it up his fucking bloviating asshole... And uh, tell it to somebody who wants to fucking listen to uh, to it. I, I, I'm here to talk uh, to, to, to the fucking people who have the fucking balls to, uh, to, to talk about the only fucking reality that we need to be talking about. As everyone from uh, Derek Jensen uh, to uh, Michael Rupert uh, had to talk about. Uh, that, 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 that we're fucked, and, and the reason we are fucked is because of fucking humans. And fucking humans need to go. Deal with that reality, wet seal. Now, I get to have the great pleasure of, uh... Going into the, and it's so easy to do this, uh, as, I, I mean, look, look at, the, look at this comment, guys. Look at it. Uh, who the fuck does this asshole uh, think is going to make it to the bottom of this shit? But anyway, if I can ever get to the bottom uh, of this horse shit, I see he does not have one thumbs up. We are going to... Hide user from channel. Okay. We have now hidden that user from this channel. So the uh, the cumulative IQ of Collapse Chronicles just went up a few points. Anyway, I got to uh, wrap this up because uh, my immoral evil ass has to go get my... Uh, my uh, factory farmed fellow earthling off of the uh, fossil fuel powered grill and uh, get some goddamn food in my face uh, so I can go uh, make some money being a super host at a vacation rental business. Bye guys.